I hope it's a wonderful Monday to all of you AVG new subscribers and viewers. My name is Mkolisi Ngobe. Uh, I'm making this short video to those who are on the ZEP. We have not yet responded to calls for them to apply for any other mainstream South African permit due to the fact that they don't qualify. So there is a, a letter that you need to write to Home Affairs. It's what I'm going to talk about because there are people who have been inquiring uh, what they should write and where they should send it to. Uh, before I go ahead, may I request you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it far and wide so that it reaches out to every ZEP Walter because this is likely to strengthen your case uh, as you try and negotiate a further leniency from the South African government. Uh, the question has been, what should be included in the letter? How important is it for the letter to, to be written? And where should it be sent? Uh, we are told that uh, from the Department of Home Affairs, especially through the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti, uh, that a few people have seemingly responded to uh, calls for them to apply for some mainstream South African permit. And the last time we had only 6,000 of the estimated 178,000 ZEP Walters had written to the government to indicate that uh, they will need to remain in South Africa, but because they don't qualify, they have therefore not responded to calls or they haven't made any applications for any waiver or any South African permit. So this means that around 172,000 people have not uh, written anything, they have not made any uh, attempt to heed the government calls and what now this has uh, raised in the minister's mind is that people have been listening to wrong advice. They have listened to those who went to court uh, and have promised them that the permit will be renewed. So if you haven't responded, the, uh, the, the, the thinking uh, on the line of DHA is that you are doing so not because you don't qualify, but because you have listened to those who have told you that uh, they are going to take the government to court and they are going to win and the ZEP will be renewed. Yet, in actual fact, the minister has said he's going to resist any attempts to have uh, the courts force them to renew the permits. So what you need to do is you need to write to the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, because they are still considering your, your pleas. So you need to write to the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, and say why you haven't uh, responded or you motivate for why your permit has to be renewed or for why you have to be given another permit to continue staying in South Africa. This may be, may be based on your qualifications that may not be under the critical skills category or based on the level of experience that you have which cannot be certified by the South African Qualifications Authority that is SACA and therefore because you don't have the, the necessary qualifications in terms of education you cannot uh, apply for any permit or you cannot qualify for any permit under the Immigration Act yet through uh, the lenience of the government and your, useful, your usefulness to both your company and the South African economy, you may try and plead your case with the minister. So this is what you need to do uh, to, to, to make sure that uh, they get your side of the story. Uh, the, the, the letter, the contents of the letter should be that although you don't qualify, you do need to remain in South Africa or you are pleading uh, for the leniency of the minister because he's got the prerogative uh, of ensuring that you are either uh, legalized in this country or you are told to pick up and leave. So this is what you need to do. You need to write uh, your motivation, your own motivation uh, to the Minister of Home Affairs, telling them why uh, you would like to remain in South Africa or why you are pleading with them to renew your permit or why you are pleading with them to give you any other permit regardless of whether you qualify or not and then they're going to adjudicate on that the minister himself is going to make sure that whatever is best for both south africa and the zimbabwean immigrants is considered and then the decision they're going to take will be determined by a team of lawyers that they've put in place so you can go ahead and write the letter uh, to and send it to zep inquiries at dha.gov.za zep inquiries at dha.gov.za the zep is in capital letters
uh, then you copy that letter to info at adfsa.org.za info at adfsa.org.za this uh, copying this carbon copying is meant for the zimbabwean community in south africa to then have its own database of how many people uh, indeed uh, responded to the calls by the minister of home affairs i hope uh, this is clear for all of you uh, we are going to append again the email address uh, on the description uh, underneath this video so that those who could not hold it uh, in their mind in their heads or those who do not who may have problems with spellings will then just have to copy and paste so we'll copy both uh we'll append both email addresses underneath this video uh on the description uh, section of the video if you have any other info I mean, information that you will need for from us or any questions that you would want to post to us please use the comment section underneath this, vi this video then we're going to respond to you uh, thank you very much. I hope you will have a wonderful day.